You head through Washington Square Park, exiting by Washington Square South. <laughs> Heading down McDougal Street, you see the Providence Town Playhouse. Found in Providence Town, Massachusetts, the Providence Town Players included many of the artists and writers from Greenwich Village. Dejuna Barn and Edna St. Vincent Millay performed in plays while Eugene O'Neill's earliest works premiered at this playhouse. Eventually, O'Neill's plays would be performed uptown as well on Broadway. Many of O'Neill's plays, including The Harry Ape, were politically radical, calling for an uprising of the workers' consciousness. O'Neill was close friends with the Communist Labor Party founder, John Reed, who was also prominent in the Greenwich Village scene. The Playhouse was shut down in 1929 after the founding couple, George Cram Cook and Susan Geisfeld, decided that their commercial success meant they had failed as revolutionaries. Today, the Playhouse is owned by NYU. Most of what used to be the Playhouse has been renovated and is now part of NYU law. Although the university preserved the original building, it has been altered from its original appearance. You continue down McDougal Street and observe the Manetta Tavern, which Eugene O'Neill and Dylan Tallness were known to frequent. Across from it is Café Wa, famous for being where Bob Dylan and Bruce Springsteen, among others, got their starts. Are you disenchanted with New York already? With the way it moves and changes so easily? If so, return to Chelsea Hotel. If, however, you're not quite ready to give up and want to keep looking for the bohemian scene you crave, continue to St. Mark's Place.